guys. So today's video is going to be an empties video. I have so much crap that I have to get rid of. It's like piling up. I'm so tired of it being in my room. Why am I screaming? I just started and I'm already screaming. So I'm going to get started. Okay, empties. I have a crap crap ton and I think there's more over yeah there's more over there okay I'm not gonna spend too much time on each thing or this video is gonna be eight hours long the first thing is the dial all-day freshness lavender and twilight jasmine this is a big ass shower gel and I went through the entire thing in like a month I used this as bubble bath it was nice it, nothing special I mean it's just body wash it smelled good and yeah, I, I think my aunt got me this. She's like a Sam's Club fanatic, so this is where that came from. Just body wash. It's just body wash. The next thing is the Philosophy Ginger Snap Shampoo Shower Gel and Bubble Bath. This stuff I freaking love. It smells so good. It smells like Christmas and just the holidays. I love it. I use this as bubble bath and shower gel. It's very moisturizing. I get one of these every year. I can't believe I'm out of it already. It's not even Thanksgiving and I've sucked down a ginger snap. That didn't sound too good. I have, how many do I have? Two of my Josie Marin whipped argan oil body butters. They are both, yeah, both vanilla apricot. I have talked at length about this stuff. It is the most amazing body butter in the world. I do have a Josie Marin review video that I will link below where I talk more about this. But I will never not have one of these in an empties video, at least one, because it's my crack. Not that I'm into crack, but if I were, I'm assuming it doesn't matter. Forget it. <laughs> I have some wipes. I have simple wipes. I have Josie Marin bare naked wipes. I have Target brand wipes. Good grief. This is a sin. I have more simple wipes. I have more Josie Marin wipes. More simple. Who am I? I think that's it for wipes. Josie Marin bare naked wipes are my favorite, but I also love the simple wipes. I just kind of go back and forth. I don't know why this is in here, but I have some vitamin C chewable tablets. I don't know. I love these things. They're like candy. I swear I was eating like three a day, but I still got sick. So you know what, Rite Aid brand vitamin C chewable tablets? I don't know how I feel about you anymore. I don't think they prevent anybody from getting sick or pump up your immune system. At least they didn't for me, but they taste amazing. I have a Aura Brush tongue foam. That is disgusting, but it's what I have. I brush my tongue every day. Does anybody else do that? I feel like your tongue gets so gross and you have to brush it. Do you guys brush your tongue? So I'm out and I tried to use toothpaste today to brush my tongue. It, it didn't work out. It did not work out well, but I love this stuff. It's just a pumpy foam. Like when you pump it out, it's foam and it just cleans your tongue with a little tongue scraper. Is this disgusting? I like talking about it. I'm actually amused with myself right now. I have the Philosophy Razor Sharp Extra Close Shaving Gel. I really, really like this stuff. It's basically just a high-end shaving cream, gel, whatever, but it smelled really good. It did make my skin feel very moisturized, and I would definitely get this again. I found this at Marshalls, though, so I probably won't end up repurchasing, but if I did see this again, I would definitely purchase it because I really did like it. I have my Vichy Calming Cleansing Micellar Solution. I adore this stuff. I use this to take makeup off, to tone my skin, it's basically like magic water. I've talked about it before. I love it. It's very gentle, but it does a kick-ass job of getting makeup off. So definitely will be repurchasing. I do have one, but there's like this much left. So technically I have two of these to show you, but I'm only showing you one because I'm too lazy to get up and get the other one. This is my life. I'm just pulling at random. I'm not going in any particular order. I have the Macadamia Deep Repair Mask. This baby is totally cleaned out. This is a deep conditioner. I love the smell of this. Oh my God, it smells so good. And it's very moisturizing for your hair. It makes my hair feel very soft and smooth and 
takes down the frizz and I just love it. I use this probably like every two to three days, but my daughter and my son use it and I swear they just like get out an enormous glob of it because this was gone in like two weeks which is not okay with me. Also finished up my CVS brand eye makeup remover. I adore this stuff, but I feel like they changed the formula of it. I know they changed the lid. Now it's like a flip top. And along with changing the lid, I'm pretty sure they changed the formula because the one that I got that has the flippy lid does not work as well as this one. I've been using this stuff for years. It is the best eye makeup remover that I have ever used, but I don't know if I'm going to stick with it because, like I said, it's different now. And they can lie to me all they want and say they didn't change it. Something is different. I've been using my Lancome by Facil by Facel. I don't know how to say it, but here I'll show it to you. It looks like this. And this one is pretty freaking amazing. I love this one. So even though it's a little bit more expensive, unless they change the formula back, I am no longer going to be having an affair with my CVS brand eye makeup remover and that's very sad because this stuff was amazing. CVS, you and I are going to have a little talk. We have the Borghese Fango Delicato. This is high class people. Active mud for delicate dry skin. This is my holy grail face mask. I have a big enormous jar right now that I am almost through but I'm obsessed with Borghese. We know this. This just feels so good on my skin. You can kind of feel it working, but it doesn't hurt like that freaking youth mask glam glow crap that I used. I thought I was dying. That That's beside the point. This does not make your skin burn, but you just get a little bit of a tingle, and I feel like it sucks all the bad stuff out of my skin. If I don't use this, I break out. Like I notice that my pores are getting clogged and... I just love it. It's my favorite thing. And it's freaking expensive, of course, but it's worth it. I have an Urban Decay Primer Potion. Is that what it's called? Yeah, eyeshadow primer potion. This was a little sample. I think this came with one of my Naked palettes, maybe. Um, not my favorite eyeshadow primer. This does nothing for me. My eyeshadow creases in like an hour. But I have very oily eyelids, so don't go off of what I'm saying. I know this works for a lot of people. It just does not work for me. So I cleaned out my mascara drawer, and I got rid of a bunch of mascaras. So I have Clinique High Impact Mascara. Love this stuff. This is a really, really good mascara. It just has a very basic wand. It's kind of a fatter. It's a fiber wand. It's not one of the plastic ones, but it makes, can you guys even see that? Sorry. It makes your lashes so long and it's still natural though. It doesn't make them like clumpy or spider looking. This is bomb mascara. I am going to repurchase this because just in the past few months, I've realized how much I love this mascara. Oops. I have a Revlon Grow Luscious, did not like, way too natural for me. I just felt like it didn't do anything for my lashes. I have a Milani Runway Lashes, crap. This made my lashes very spidery, but very short at the same time. It gave me no volume, no length, did not like this at all. Revlon Lash Potion, this one I actually did like. More for a very natural day because it keeps your lashes looking very natural, but it does give you a little bit of length and volume, but you keep that like feathery look, which I like. And this one is supposed to help your lashes grow. It has some sort of lash growing magic in it. So this one I would repurchase. And then the last one I have is Rimmel's Volume Accelerator. The packaging is very cool, but I did not care for this one. Um, and I don't really have a reason why. I just wasn't wowed by it. And I like lashes that are like kapow, like my Jordana Best Lash Extreme, which I don't have any of those right now. What the heck's going on? I think I do have one. I just forgot to put it in. So, sorry. This one just didn't wow me. It was okay. It coated my lashes, but it didn't do anything exciting for them. So I would not repurchase. I mean, I have my Anastasia Brow Wiz in Brunette. This is pretty much the only, look, I lost the little one thingamahooch. 
this is pretty much the only thing that I can use on my brows and I have been having better luck with my brows. I had a really bad day last week and ever since then, I don't know if the eyebrow gods just smile down upon me, but things have been looking up. So I'm, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry that my phone keeps going off. I'm going to stick with this. For a while there, I was thinking of just ditching it because I wasn't liking the way that my brows were looking, but I've realized it's not this. It's these that's the problem. This is an innocent bystander. So I'm sticking with my Anastasia Brow Wiz. It matches my eyebrows and my hair color well. I like that it has a spoolie. It is expensive, but it is the best thing that I have ever used on my brows. So I have a candle. This is the, oh, that was exciting. I have a candle. It's a big like statement. This is the Bath & Body Works Eucalyptus Mint and Guava Number no. 4 candle and oh yeah that did smell really good. I kind of forgot because I burned this one so long ago. I got this for $2.50 at Bath & Body Works and I love their candles. They burn so well. I don't know if this is available anymore but I will read you what's on the bottom just in case. The scent of guavas fresh from the tree transforms invigorating eucalyptus mint into a mouth-watering tropical scent. This one kind of smells it does have that guava scent but I feel like it has kind of a spicy smell to it also. Any Bath & Body Works candle I am all for. They burn so nicely. They burn fast, but the scent is crazy good. So, love that. So my friends, that is it for my empties video. I had a crap load of stuff this month. And I'm sorry if I like rushed through everything. I don't think I did. I think you guys got the picture, right? Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you have finished up this month. You guys give me bomb ass ideas, so keep them coming. I love you all, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh yeah, get it, girl. What? I'm all like badass today. Do you? Are you guys noticing this? Skulls, crosses, I'm just like a badass chick. Oh wait, my boyfriend's outside on the motorcycle. Wait, pick me up. Oh wait, that's actually the UPS man. Never mind. Do you care? Do you care? You better say you care. I know you care. Somebody cares out there. Who cares? Do you care? I care. I don't care if you don't care, but I know that you care. So stop pretending you don't care and just keep on caring. Okay. Ow. Do you guys want to see a really, really exciting outfit? Feast your eyes. Feast your eyes on this. Look at these pants. Oh yeah, get it girl. Ow, pull the muscle. Oh crap. Strained. Wait, strained my groin. Thanks a lot. You guys just had to see my pants, didn't you? And now that you saw them, I pulled a muscle. Are you proud of yourselves? The next thing I have is from Maybelline and... Oh, God, what the crap are you? Wait, let's start over. That wasn't... That's not gonna work. Ay, ay, ay. It's a hitchhiking kind of day. Did you guys hear that? I mean, all I'm trying to do is have a little dance party. Somebody's outside making noise. It has to be my husband. He's probably trying to climb up the side of the house to get to Frankie. Stanky Frankie. I know he wants to do dirty, dirty things to her. He does. He told me. He's like, I'm in love with that puppy and I don't care. Okay, well. I have no idea. But he's barking. No idea at all. None. This is, this is my life. This is what I go through. Lay it down, Slim. Sorry. Do you guys, why? Why are you watching me do my hair? You creepy, stinking little creep monsters, you. I love when you guys creep on me. It just makes me feel so special. Don't ever stop. Too young for that song. Okay, bye. Bye bye. See ya. See ya. Bye. bye.